Mandela, the world celebrates your life today. You endured imprisonment, yet you freed us all. You were the light on the darkness called apartness. You reminded us that being a leader meant service to others. You created a rainbow country. May we create a rainbow world. If Jesus died for our sins, then you lived for us all. Through death, you live on at a higher station. You are giving me inspiration to create a world as one nation, to see the other as myself. We are all Mandelas. We are all servants of each other. Sister, brother, father, mother, accountable to ourselves, for ourselves. Reminding me of who I am, a child of the one supreme creator, the one who made such a beautiful creation such as you. Nelson Mandela, I thank you. I thank you for shaking us up. I thank you for waking us up. Thank you for helping us look past the illusion, the illusion of two, the illusion that separates me from you, a notion that divides us who were created equal, created equal in love. In the Quran, God says, I created you in diversity so you may get to know one another. Muhammad said, in humanity we are all brothers and sisters. Jesus advised us to love thy neighbor. Buddha reminded us that we are the creator through our thoughts, words, and actions. Mandela, your message came from the same faction of great leaders who have reminded us of our inherent greatness. Thank you, Nelson Mandela, for being that reminder, for helping us take apartness and putting it behind us. May we see that the people being killed in Syria are not just like us. May we see that the factory slaves of China are not just like us. May we see that the hungry people of the world are not just like us. May we see that the socially oppressed, gay, fat, or other child is not just like us. They are all us. Like Gandhi, we must be the change we are looking for. We are the savior we've been waiting for. Without this mentality, no saint or great leader will we endure. We may continue killing them as we've done before. Dr. King, Gandhi, Jesus, the Imams, the list goes on. When will we stop killing each other? The answer is simple. When we realize we are all one. That is true holiness, realizing the wholeness from which there is no apartness. God is not just somewhere out there, but even deep within the darkness. God is life, and we are a part of it, not a part from it. Back to you, Mr. Mandela, the uniter of people. Thank you for guiding us, seeing us all as equal. I love you. Thank you.